We're looking at the Avantsonic Z5 portable bladder scanner today. The base and cradle unit are secured by a single screw. The rechargeable battery is placed in the rear of the scanner and secured by means of the sliding clip. The scanner is placed in the cradle and can be secured with two screws if necessary. On the end of the probe there is a plug. This needs to be connected into the console and you do this by inserting the plug gently and turning it till you can feel it lines up and then a gentle push to complete. Then power the machine on by pressing the single button on the lower front of the screen. The machine now goes through the boot process. This only takes a few seconds and you'll be presented with the basic screen to start with. You'll notice in the top right hand corner there's a symbol that depicts a man. This is the default followed by woman, then hysterectomized woman, and finally child. Using the touch screen facility, select setup, and you'll have the ability here to press the display icon, and then select whether you want to use expert mode or easy mode. We're gonna use easy in this instance, and then return. For the purposes of demonstration, I have a phantom bladder. I'm going to insert the probe and press the button to establish pre-scan. And you'll see as I move the probe around, the image changes from green to yellow and back to green. Green is good and I'm going to bisect the green image with the vertical line and then press the button again. It's now counted up to 12 and it reads out the volume at the base right hand corner of the machine. Basically, both images showing green is good. Now I'm going to change from easy mode to expert mode. And return. And you can see a much more detailed image. Press the button once again for pre-scan. And you can see as I move the probe around, you'll be looking for the bladder in the real world and you're looking to bisect it with that vertical line. Press the button again to actual enter scanning. Counts to 12 and gives the reading at the bottom right hand side again. It is good practice to review the 12 images that you've taken and by pressing the up and down arrows you can view each of these images in turn. Should the patient cough or you move You'll see this on the images and you might decide to rescan again. If you need a printout of your scan, then just press the print button and a printed copy will come out of the printer at the back of the machine for you to review. You can personalize this with a patient's name, for example. The scanner can be carried around separate from the base station or it can be mounted on top of a height adjustable trolley which has provisions for consumables such as gel and cleaning materials. The portable or trolley mounted Z5 bladder scanner from Avant Sonic.